Today I will illustrate how you can create a video using Filmora 10 or any video editing program that when uploaded to Facebook will play repeatedly. So how do you create a video which loops from the end back to the beginning on Facebook and also appears to start at the same place it ended? First you must keep the video length under 30 seconds. Anything over 30 seconds will play once and then stop under 30 seconds. It will play several times repeatedly so once it gets to the end it starts over again. Number two, the second half of the video is basically going to be the first half of the video played in reverse. And number three, since we're playing the second half of the video in reverse, we need to avoid using video where people or vehicles are moving in the background. If they're moving in the background for the second half of the video, they'll be walking backwards or backing up. All right, the first thing we need to do is add a clip to the timeline. Once the clip is added, we need to scrub through the clip to find a section that we want to play in a looped manner. So in this clip, we'll start close to the car. So that's where I want to start. I select cut. We'll delete the first section. Next, we will scroll out to the right until we get to approximately 15 or less seconds, preferably less. Right there, we're at 1429. We'll go ahead and select cut and delete this other section. Next, we'll do a quick color grade. Um, this was shot with a drone that was by DJI. It was a flat color profile, so it looks rather blah. So I've created a, my own preset here. We'll select OK. Now we have that clip with a little bit more color in it. Next, we're going to copy the clip. and then we will paste the clip. On the second clip, we will right click again here and we will select speed and duration in Filmora and then select reverse speed and then select okay. So now what happens is at the beginning of the video, we're close to the car and we're going out. And as we get way out here, the video will start back again towards zooming in at the car. And then by the end of the video, which is under 30 seconds in length, we're back at the very start. Now the key about being back at the very start for this effect is this. If I copy the first clip and paste it again and put it to the second clip, what will happen here is when Facebook gets to the end of the clip, it's going to start back at the beginning. And when it starts back at the beginning, that's right where we just ended. So it's seamlessly going forward and back, forward and back to and from the vehicle. So that's the effect that we're going for here. So just wanted to illustrate that quickly. So we need to hit stop here. Next, we need to add our music. So I'm going to, in Filmora, select audio. If you're using other editing programs, just find yourself an audio clip that is available to be uploaded to Facebook where you won't have the audio removed for being uh, in violation of a copyright. All right, we're gonna need to pick one. Let's go with this one. Get somewhere in the middle. That sounds like a great spot to start right there. So we're just looking at the waveform to see where that beat started. So here we have a consistent section of rhythm, hopefully. Let's go ahead and play, press play, listen to that. So using my ear and it sounded like that would be a good spot to actually end this video segment. So got track one, track two, need to scroll over. There we go. 
We have our two video sections, one and two. Ideally, the audio should end there, but we're not quite at the beginning yet. So what are we going to do about that? Not much it can do. Let's just let it go to the end. And then select cut on our music. Undo. Then we're going to select cut on our music track. So we need to select the music track and then select cut. And then just to see how that music would sound if it ended right there and started at the beginning, we're just going to copy the section of music and line it up here and just have a listen. That almost blended great, but not quite. So what are we going to do about that? I think what we need to do here is go back to our music at the beginning of the track. Zoom in, and I think we actually need to make the beginning slightly shorter because we're a little bit misaligned. So we're going to start in a slightly different spot. Delete that secondary track. Copy the music again. Paste the music again. And then have a listen here. I think we have a little bit of a gap. We do. All right, play again. I am happy enough with that for now. So that sounded good. We kind of have a good blend where the beginning or the end of the music track aligns with our start of the music track. So our endless video will sound good. So let's go ahead here. Whoops, we need to zoom out again. Well, our music didn't quite end at the very end. Better check it out again. This is like a bunch of trial and error. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time. And maybe you're not as fussy about the music aligning, which is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right, that sounded fine to me. All right, so that is good. Let's zoom to the left. So just to illustrate what we're going to do here, now that we've created this, we can copy it all, paste it again, and you'll see how when it goes to this point, at the end of the video, it's going to pick right back. So we've got ourselves an endless video. So just copy the first 30 seconds to the again and play it again and so you can kind of watch it before you do your render. So now we're going to go ahead and render this. So we have our 15 second clip in forwards, 15 second clip in reverse. We have our music track that is the same exact length. We've edited the beginning of the music track slightly so that when we get to the end of the music track, the two kind of somewhat rhythmically align in terms of the beat and the overall sound. Uh, you don't want too distinctive of music uh, because if it varies a lot from the beginning of the track to the end, they're never going to sound right when you try to align them together. Um, so now we need to go ahead and select export, create video, and we'll do MP4. Settings all look fine to me. Let's go ahead and select export and then we'll run this video for you that is fully rendered. All right, the file has been uploaded to Facebook. Here we have my Facebook timeline. We scroll down, there's the video. Let's go ahead and kick on the sound. Facebook kind of messed that up a little bit. Do you like a little hiccup? That is not a glitch of our video because our video was great. So there is a little bit of a 
issue in Facebook where at the end of the audio, when it starts over again, it puts a little bit of a pause there, which is making the audio seem glitchy. So let's take a look at this and see if we play it back in the timeline, if we hear that glitch. See, there is no glitch. Like there's no pause there like our dropout like there's in Facebook. So probably the ideal thing that we'd want to do is perhaps fade out this track slightly beforehand. Oops, let's double click that. Fade out for two seconds maybe. Even go and fade in for two seconds. Maybe not two seconds, maybe one second. Let's see what that sounds like if we put them back to back. I think that's gonna work out better. Is there a gap in our video? No, everything seems fine. So I guess my recommendation is for this is probably put a fade at the beginning and the end. Don't try to match it up perfectly because Facebook, when it's replaying the audio at the end to the beginning, it's dropping a couple of beats, which kind of makes it sound glitchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this video out to Facebook now and take a listen to see what happens when it's uploaded to Facebook. I think the outcome will be better than the prior version. All right, so here's our video. Let's go ahead and enable. So I definitely think that was a better transition than the prior video that we created. So based on that, I would recommend that you fade in and fade out the music. That way there's no audio glitch when Facebook starts the video over the second time. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't play forever. It plays a number of times, then eventually it will stop. If we go to full screen, then it plays to the end and then it automatically stops in the full screen mode as well. So if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Experiment with this. See what kind of creative ideas that you can come up with for this looping video. Again, just make sure that it's under 30 seconds in length and have a great day.